Hey, so if you're watching this, you probably have an old camera like this Rolly 35 and you want to get the light meter working, but you don't know where to get a mercury battery. Thankfully, you can get modern replacements that are pretty much just as good, just don't contain mercury. These are your zinc air batteries. They're rated for 1.45 volts, but most of the time they output closer to 1.35 volts from my experience. And you can get adapters and pop them right in here and they work perfectly fine. So I'll show you that now. First things first, you're gonna wanna open up your Rolly 35 like this. And just pull off the back. And in the back, there is a little battery compartment right here. You're gonna wanna get in there with a coin, just give it a little bit of a turn. Once it's loose, I just like to use my finger to just kind of spin it around until it's fully unlocked. And then we can access the battery. Now you can see here, I have a little adapter. So this little brass adapter has our zinc air battery inside. Um, this one is fresh. I just changed it earlier and outputs about 1.35 volts. I can show you that right now. It's always good to have a multimeter with uh, old cameras like this to check batteries and the like. So if you don't have one, pick one up. They're reasonably priced. It's a bit fiddly to measure this just because it's so small. So we'll just go here. And this one's brand new and is outputting 1.4. So generally they start to dip down after a little bit of use, but 0 0.5 volts over isn't too bad. It's not the end of the world. Uh, our light meter might be a little more sensitive than it should be, but it'll get the job done. And then all we need to do is pop it in this little brass adapter. Now I generally put the positive side down as such. And we can see on the Rolly 35 on the interior, the positive side is the one that needs to face up. So I just flip it around, pop it in like so. Get the little screw cap. And then I just turn, turn, turn. Get our penny. There we go. And we just spin it around again until it's locked. Give it a final couple turns with the penny. All right, it's locked. Don't over tighten it. Grab the back of the camera. Seal it up. Lock it. You can see up here, there is our light meter. It won't be activated until we turn it. And oh, I need to uh, have some light to point at it. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm back and I have uh, an LED light bar. And what we'll do is we'll just point it at this and you'll see that the light meter is in fact working. See, Whoop. there it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And it's working perfectly fine. I've had plenty of luck uh, with those batteries. So if you find yourself in the possession of an old vintage camera like a Rolly 35, or maybe a Leica Flex and you want to get the uh, light meter working, all you need to do is pick up one of these, get the brass adapter, pop it in, and you're pretty much good to go. I'll put some links in the description below of some examples of these items. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, or check out some of my other videos on the right. I think you'll like them. See you in the next one. Bye.